When staff walk behind that door, they don't know what they'll be facing. I was just performing my duties. Um, the inmate was being aggressive towards me, so I entered the cell to take him out of the living area, and that was when he struck at me. John was hit several times before the inmate was sent to segregation, a sign of just how dangerous life can be from the other side of the bars. There's some more safeguards that should be put in place to protect us. John, a corrections officer at EMDC, agreed to speak with us provided that we concealed his identity. He could face discipline from his employer, or worse, retribution from inmates for speaking out. And at EMDC, that's likely. Through a series of access to information requests, CTV has learned that EMDC is one of the most dangerous centers to work at in the province. In the first eight months of last year, there were 14 assaults by inmates against staff. That translates roughly into 10% of all full-time guards, or 5% of all staff members. That's according to the government. In 2011, for example, the Ministry of Community Safety and Correctional Services says there were 161 assaults against staff at all institutions. OPSU, the union representing jail staff, says 453. But regardless of whose numbers you use, last year EMDC was one of the most dangerous institutions to work at. Last fall, the government set out an action plan to change things. Most were supposed to be completed, or at least started by now. But John says even some of the simple things aren't getting done, like daily searches for contraband and weapons, because there aren't enough staff. Searches don't happen anymore, so it's more and more dangerous weapons can be produced inside the institution. Which just adds to the dangers, especially when old infrastructure isn't replaced. Somebody could potentially be killed. Meal hatches can be rigged by inmates to open from inside their cells. It's led to several assaults where somebody approaches the cell and an inmate inside opens the hatch and stabs or slices the person approaching. It's one of the reasons they were supposed to be replaced, with construction starting in October. Nothing's happened with the hatches whatsoever. Uh, there's not been any work in progress with that. Tory MPP Jeff Urick is disappointed. The whole idea is this government has a plan that they've promised to follow through on. The minister assured me herself that it would be quick and uh, they would be held accountable. Well, now I'm holding them to account. They haven't followed through on their 12-point their, uh, plan. John says senior managers don't realize just how dangerous it really is, despite a plan that calls for them to tour and inspect living units daily. Rarely do you see senior management or superintendents for that matter on the floors. Uh, if they're going to go in the unit, very, very rare.